Welcome back. Friday 4 continues. The underreported story of the week. And all right. Show's going to the dogs. <laughs> Dog Come jokes. on, dog jokes. Again. more dog jokes, please, yeah, everybody. Here we go. Yeah. Right. I got the Iditarod because one of their teams in the Iditarod tested positive for an opioid pain reliever. So it's a banned substance. And essentially what's happened here is the Iditarod run recently. Uh, we don't know which team it was. We don't know who did it. The responsibility in all of this goes on the musher. And by the way, the musher is the guy who stands there and goes, mush, mush. I right. did not know that. So the collector um, is standing there waiting after the race. That's right. Down and the dogs are drinking water, trying to get it all down. Well, because yeah. the dog they don't know which is... team it was? They don't. They don't. It's, they're, they're keeping it confidential Those dogs for legal reasons. Any kind of painkiller they can get. Well, That's you know, right, because it's really tough. To now, some people have said there's two conspiracies here. That, yeah. a, that a competing musher tainted these dogs. So we don't know, or that it was all incentives to get the big prize money, which is seventy-five grand. There's no honor among mushers. Apparently not. What the hell's going on? No, here? no, no. The climb. For some reason, this feels stories. like something Jeremy should know yeah. like a ton about. Like, yeah, I did a ride. You did a yeah. piece I'm on fond it. Of it. <laughs> Ten years ago. No, I've never even been to the state of Alaska. It's one of the three. Ryan, Ryan remains our. Uh, yeah. Which you do live in the state of confusion. So, what is your underreported for the week? Well, I thought this was interesting. Uh, in Berlin, uh, the local soccer team hurt the Berlin. Uh, the players before a game got together, 11 players from 10 countries, one black player, and kneeled. And this was a nod both to what's going on in the United States and, uh, more, more generally speaking, also in Europe as we see the rise of uh, far-right extremist anti-immigrant groups, uh, far-right taking position in uh, the German parliament for the first time in, in 50 years, what we're seeing going on in Austria. And they put out a statement saying that uh, sports is antithetical to intolerance anywhere. And I thought the fact that the movement is now spreading globally in this way, I think is important. But they don't play the anthem. It, it, basically, right. it's an nothing American and Canadian anthem. custom. Right. Nothing so there, there's anthem. nothing to do with the anthem and disrespecting, right. end quote, the anthem by, by kneeling at that point. What do you got? All right, I have uh, Lindsay Mintenko, who was named the national team managing director for USA Swimming. Re two reasons is important. One, because U.S. swimming, something we care about every four years, is having a generational shift about how they're going to be able to compete at the highest level now that longtime Phelps and Lochte are gone. And so she becomes the first female national team managing director and leading USA Swimming into a new era. And then the second part of that is, I mean, USA Swimming has been em embroiled in so many different sexual allegation, controversy, and so changing things up at the top, bringing a swimmer in who has been a part of that program for years, having competed in the Olympics. Now, to me, we will see a transition with USA Swimming that we will care about at our next Olympics. Yeah, mine is related very much to that. Michaela Maroney, of course, America's sweetheart, gold medal gymnast from the 2012 London Games uh, in the Me Too campaign, which has attended the horrible uh, details of the Harvey Weinstein episodes. Uh, letting it be known this way that she too, she says, and claims, was sexually abused by Dr. Larry Nasser at the age of 13, and that the abuse occurred <clears throat> in London before each, in addition to just those instances, but before each of her medal winning performances. Uh, this is a sport just like swimming, which is yep. trying to come to grips with how to administrate, how to investigate, and we still are trying to find out the depths of the depravity of Nasser, who has pled guilty to federal child pornography charges, but still has a raft of state charges, and we're trying to understand how, how evil yeah. it is. And both these sports are struggling still. Yeah, and, and sadly, when it came to the gymnastics, it was, it was because of a lack of big-name gymnast stars attached to that case that it didn't make a, a bigger splash mm -hmm. when he was being prosecuted, whereas, and now uh, certainly this is a gymnast that we all remember from the games and landing that vault, and so it does at least bring that type of uh, star power so we can better understand yeah. what was and happening. And hopefully it also forces change within USA Gymnastics. Well, they've, they've already gotten rid of the executive director earlier this right, year. Right, right. Yeah. So the more people, you know, as horrible as this is, hopefully USA Gymnastics is looking at this and saying, you know, this goes so deep, we've got to do something, we've yeah. got to do more, yeah. as the gymnasts have been asking. Courage. Much more oversight.